It has been almost a year since Vu Ti Din heard from her daughter. She feared she was kidnapped before being sold as a bride across the China border just a few kilometers from her village in northern Vietnam. We took her photo with us to try to look for her for one month near the border. Everyone said there were so many people around and they didn't see her. It was during the Lunar New Year holiday that her daughter disappeared. Dua, who loved fashion and photo shoots, was out with her best friend, but they never came back. The family misses her. Everybody cried. We, her parents, cried. The mother next door cried. Everyone cried. The two girls are Hmong, a poor and marginalized Vietnamese ethnic group. The Vietnam-China border is a rugged mountainous region where people move freely back and forth. Girls like them are prime targets for traffickers. Because of family problems and loneliness, some women are lured across the border to a better life. They cross the border knowing it's illegal, but they do it anyway. And later, they become victims of human trafficking in China. On the other side of the border, Three decades of China's one-child policy has resulted in a gender imbalance. Girls who are not sold to be married sometimes end up in brothels. Others, like Lao Ti Mai, finally come back. She left her alcoholic husband thinking she was going to begin a new life in China with her son. She says she was sold to a violent compulsive gambler for $2,800 and then trapped in the marriage for almost 10 years before managing to escape. I returned home totally broken, but I was happy to get rid of him. Now I'm back home, my son is still somewhere in China. I miss him a lot. For others, deep inside China with no passport and speaking only Hmong, the journey back could be impossible.